Yes, we're recording. Hi, it's Iris Carson and I'm recording from Thailand again. So, change hotel, different hotel, it's called Merlin Beach Resort Hotel. Uh, it's, it's a beautiful place. Uh, the whole family is here for a couple of days. My sister and Will got married last night. It was a beautiful wedding and she was a beautiful bride. And they're still here, but I haven't seen them. They had breakfast in bed and they, you know, they're in their room. Stuff to do. So, I haven't forgotten about programming and haven't forgotten about the stupid questions. And actually, the stupid question I have now was asked during the wedding. And one of the friends uh, on, on Will's side uh, asked me a little bit about what I do. And I don't know how it came up, but he asked me if I do websites. And I was like, yeah! I can, I can do websites, but I tend to do more web applications. And then he asked me, well, what's the difference? And I thought, well, well, well that's easy, that's, everybody knows that, don't they? Mm. And then I just realized it's kind of hard to explain the difference, because nowadays websites are more and more rich in content, in, and also in the way they allow the user to interact with the site itself. So I think it's hard to... Uh, to really draw a line between those two. This is a website and this is a web application. But for me, I, I can actually, for me there is a difference. Uh, I would say that a website is a site presented in a browser that pretty much just presents content. But it can present content in an advanced way. It can have a backend solution like a database where it, it retrieves all this information. It can have animations and it still allows for some user interaction. But the user interaction is kind of on a, on, on a shallow level. It's not on a deep level. It's just on a shallow level. While a web application, it's a program. It's an application. It's something that might as well just you could up in, te in theory download and install on your computer and the whole purpose of this application is actually for the user to interact with it. So Facebook web application and uh, personal, personal website just about me blah 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 I would say a website. But it's very hard uh, to draw the line and I'm actually not 100% sure where I would put the blog, but I would probably put it as a web application. Thinking like that, a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, the sites we see today will go under the category uh, web application. And I do think that more and more uh, websites that used to be just websites actually have turned into web applications today because the user expects that. Everybody kind of expects to be able to log in somewhere. And you only got to like a, at least in the Western world, you only got a few sites left where you just see information, you know, wh where to locate the store and so on. Usually you can log in, do a little bit of shopping and so on. So maybe in a few years I don't even have to explain the difference because just plain websites won't exist anymore. Who knows? But that's the best I could do for today. So that's how I would explain the difference between a, a website and a web application. And I'm very curious to see what you would say is the difference between those two. Sorry, it's so hot here. <laughs> so hot here and there's a lot of hair. So tell me what do you think is the difference between a web application and a website? And should we just skip those two terms all together and just maybe just come up with one we can use about both? You let me know what you think and I'm gonna go out for a swim and next stupid question will be coming up soon. Have a great day. Bye.